Hey guys, JoeFan82 here, and I wanted to do a video on the new uh, Revolution event series coming from IDW Publishing. And uh, I've heard a lot of um, mixed reactions from people on this. And uh, just for people that don't know, um, I'm reading an article here. It says... Uh, Revolution is a will be a five issue bi-weekly event series starting in September that will bring together all of the company Hasbro's properties G.I. Joe, Transformers, Micronauts, ROM, Action Man, and Mask or Mobile Armored Strike Command. All the series will kick off after this. All the series will kick off with new number one issues and a new status quo. And there's a quote here from IDW's editor, editor in chief, Chris Ryall, who insists this isn't a reboot. He says, We didn't want this to be what fans have seen from so many others, which is a reboot or a relaunch where you're asked to forget about all these characters and stories you've been following for years. It's just now everybody will be acknowledging each other in a much greater way than ever before. <sighs> I've seen people say that this is a horrible idea and uh, this is going to suck. Every property that's involved in this is going to be terrible after this. Um, especially a lot of hate from the Transformers fans. Um, I think one or two of the ongoing series are being canceled and then uh, a new series is going to start after this uh, they're not happy about that and then I've seen the other side where people are saying this is a great idea I love this I'm really excited about it um, I'm uh, I haven't been following the IDW comics since they got the license so I'm not familiar with what they've done I haven't read any of uh, Larry Hama's stuff under them. Uh, I'm not sure if it's from this article. It sounds like they're going to be once the new issues start after the revolution event is over, that they're going to be continuing with the continuity continuity that was established already in their comics. But it also seems like it's serving as a new jumping on point for new readers, which is good for me since I haven't been following it. Now, I, of course, am a G.I. Joe fan. I read uh, the later issues of the Marvel comics when I was a kid. I followed Devil's Due, Image, and then Devil's Due. And then I, I stopped following it some, sometime after that. Um, Transformers, I, I have a little knowledge of Transformers from a little bit from the cartoon and the movies, but I haven't followed the comics at all. Uh, these other properties I am not familiar with. Well, Mask I know a little bit about. Um, but Micronauts I have no idea. Don't know. They're tiny people that go into tiny places. Rom. Rom's like a computer man. Action Man? No idea. No idea what Action Man is. So I don't really have an opinion on, on those properties being involved in this. Um, I'm interested to see how IDW pulls this off. Um, they're obviously trying to mimic what happens at Marvel and DC with their big event series. The difference is that uh, with Marvel and DC, they have they they have a you know, decades long history of these characters being in the same universe, whereas with Hasbro, these characters, there have been G.I. Joe and Transformer crossovers before, but they've been self contained. They haven't really gone past, you know, the, that mini series. And none of these properties have really, you know, inter interconnected before. So, and, you know, just from the few promotional pieces of art that have come out, it seems like as far as G.I. Joe goes, you're going to see, uh, you know, the top tier characters, Snake Eyes, Duke, Flint, 
Scarlet. So we're probably not going to be seeing, you know, <laughs> most of the other G.I. Joe characters in this event. There's just, you know, not enough space. I mean, that's just G.I. Joe. You've got also Transformers, and you know how many characters are in that, and Mask has a team. Action Man, I think it's just one guy. Action Man, one guy. Um, I am cautiously optimistic about this event. I am interested to see how the writers tie all this stuff together and then going forward how they how they relate with each other, how the properties relate. Um, some of you I've seen some of the people online have said that you know the haters have said that this is this is a bad idea um, they don't want to have to follow every single comic line in order to understand what's going on but from from what I've read there there might be characters that pop up here and there but each series is going to be pretty much self-contained but with the possibility that you could have snake eyes show up in a Transformers comic or Action Man show up in G.I. Joe for whatever reason. They're leaving the options open for that to happen. I did hear a rumor that a Transformer was going to be joining the G.I. Joe team. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but it could be interesting, you know, depending on who it is. And something that hasn't been done before, that's the thing. This, this hasn't been done before. It's new. It's different. So a lot of people are against it because people don't like change. Um, I really don't like change too much either, but I'm willing to give this a shot. I'm interested to see how it is implemented and how they do it. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Are you for this or against this? Are you going to be picking this up? It starts in September. Um, five five issue bi-weekly event series. So um, I guess five issues starting in September. I will be getting this and reading it and letting you know my thoughts. Uh, let me know what you think. Are you getting it or not? As always, you can subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future videos. And you can follow me on social media via the links in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.